Star Wars. Dayton. It's called Pull the Plug. Yeah. From Turn It Off, Volume 1. Formerly from Newark, New Jersey. Now from Orlando. Old Town. WKTO, what's up? Cruz, you on the line? Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's going on, my brother? Man, I am awesome, man. I'm awesome. How is everything over there? Bless, man. We, we, we're we here, man. Excited Very. to hear your new track, man. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to, to, to be here with y'all. Um, I'm just taking a break at the studio right now, and um, I'm happy to, happy to talk to you guys, man. Mm-hmm. Ah, you're working on new projects already? Yeah, man, you gotta you gotta keep it going, man. You gotta keep it going. There's there's been a lot of uh, a buzz with the the new track that I put out uh, called the Overture. So you know, once people you know hear the music, they expect more. So I'm just trying to keep keep current, just keep relevant, just keep going. You know. Amen. Well, let me let me let you know that you also got some brothers behind the wall that are listening to you. We uh, broadcast into Tomoka Correctional Institution as well as the Volusia County Branch Jail. We just got a letter from a guy that's uh, asked us to pray for him. His name is Michael, and uh, Michael Stedden. And uh, God bless you, man. I'm praying for your daughter, your two two girls. Uh, let me see what. Yeah, praying for Cheyenne and Shania, and we're we're just gonna we're gonna lift them up, as well as uh, uh, Courtney and Shonda. So let let's pray, okay? Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we come bringing grace, Father, because that's that's all we do. We we we, we want to reflect Jesus in this. Yes, Lord. We want to ask, uh, Father God, for you to speak and us to kind of get out of the way. Yes, and sir. so we're bringing Amen. them to the throne. We're bringing these two small baby girls to the to the throne, Father God, Jesus. and we're asking that that you speak into their life, that you reveal yourself to them. That you disclose the fact that that there was a there was a, a solution for their sin guilt, and uh, that no matter where they, where they are, no matter whether they're behind bars, uh, w- whether their father's behind bars, or whether their their mothers are scared or or lonely or are kind of fractured in terms of the family, that you speak life into their into yes, their situation. We praise God for you, and we ask Father for that that. Uh, we ask that that Jesus be revealed to them, mm. the blood of Jesus, uh, the, their sin guilt, and uh, that that they would re- reach out to the provision that was made for them on the cross. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor, you know you know what touched me about that letter as I read it. Not one time that he mentioned. I like your music, or the music got me. Man, it was all about how this radio station touched my life. Amen. And how I listen to you guys, and how now I want to live for God. I want to be not only a good father, but a man of God. Amen. And Pastor Doug, you know, when I read that, man, it's like, you know what? Sometimes we don't know the lives that we are impacting you know, and, and how God uses us yeah. at that moment. So maybe right now you're listening to this radio station and, and you're flipping channels. I'm telling you, stay where you're at because, guys, this goes way beyond music, man. Amen. I'm talking Amen. about healing, deliverance, and, and power. Yeah. There's power in the blood of Jesus. So Amen. tune in, guys. And he's, uh, he, he, he said also that he was interested in seeking first the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness. Matthew 6, You know what I'm saying? That's what we're, that, that's what we're about. We're, we're about... Uh, proclaiming christ and the freedom that is in him and yeah we do that over beats and we do that over hooks and uh we we do that in order to be able to speak into the culture and um we're bringing life man we want we want to bring life and we thank you cruz for uh the work that you're doing amen Amen. brother cruz you know Cruz. uh i actually if those of you who are listening i got i actually got to know this brother uh personally got to see his walk get to see his walk as well um, so Cruz, not because I just know you that much closer, but there's a lot of people listening that don't. You know, I, I want you to just tell them a little bit something about who is Cruz. I know you got a campaign going on, basically saying who is Cruz. So before we even get into your first track, why don't you give us a little information about you, brother? Man, you know, um, the, the who is Cruz, man. That is a very good question. You know, I'm just a weird kid who loves guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, 
you know, I, I, I was broken like everybody else. You know, I was lost like like a lot of people. I was abused, uh, you know, mentally, mentally, physically, emotionally, mm. uh, even uh, at times spiritually. But you know, I'm I'm redeemed through the to the blood of Jesus. You know what I mean? And and I just want to share that with everyone. And you know, the Who Is Clues campaign is just you know getting to know me as a person. I, I want that to reflect not only in the music and not only for you know my ministry, but for everybody else. Not to look at appearance or what a person has or right. you know who a person knows uh, to to like them or admire them, but how they walk. You know, uh, their actions, I want that to stand out more than anything. So, okay. you know, with the with the Cues Cruise campaign, like, if you see the picture, you see, like, my face is not on it. Right. It's not about me at all. It's, it's just about me giving a message to the people who were like me at one point. You know what I mean? Right. And right. that's what that's what the uh, Who's Cruise campaign is all about. And that's pretty much, you know, what my ministry is, reaching people who were like me yeah, and cool. trying to uh, encourage them. Um, that it, there is hope, there is change, and it only comes through Jesus. You know, you know, Cruz. Oh. Um, by the way, guys, I, I also know Cruz, and uh, I watched you, brother. I watched you when you were going through the fire. I was also praying for you, but I watched you, man, and I seen how you endured through that fire. The Bible says, "He who endures mm -hmm. to the end shall be saved." Brother, you endured that fire and you blossomed right before my eyes. You've grown mm -hmm. spiritually, lyrically, in in just in in an amazing way. Now, I also I do want to mention, man, you're 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 amazing, man. The way you put the music together, it sounds incredible, but again, that's just Thank my you, man. opinion, man, but I want you guys to really hear what this man of God is all about. Yeah, you know, before we even get into your first song, Brother Cruz, um, there was a part you said in what you were just saying, uh, besides your music, also in your ministry, you know, a lot of people look at the rappers and they just say, okay, they only do music. Are you telling us that there's more to it than just the music only? Yeah, it's definitely more to it than just the music. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a new artist. You know, there's there's more to come from me than just the music. You know, we're in talks of, like, because I'm a part of uh, the music group. It's called One Accord. And we have a vision to just to just get people together in one accord okay. to just serve the Lord and, and do what He has commissioned us to do, which is to spread the gospel, man, to people who have never heard it or to people who have heard it or never understood it or don't know how to apply it to their lives. Right. So we want to plan, like, conferences. We want to plan, like, you know, meet and greets. We want to visit the communities, you know, through the music, but just that's just the, the platform in which we're doing it, man. It's, it's so much more uh, planned ahead. It's all in talks right now, but through through God, through the grace of God, I know it's going to come to pass, and I know we're going to touch a lot of lives Amen. through this. Amen. So before we get into this track, it's called Overture. Um, real quick, there's a there's a quote that you say in your on uh, your song. It's a small line. You said, "Never been a thug. I never been a shooter. I never took a gun and pressed it to against a uh, medulla. I never dealt drug and never did one neither." And you continue. Um, people automatically portray rappers as somebody who's been arrested. Uh, they've done drugs, they've dealt drugs, but here it's showing that you never even went through those things. So before we get into this track yeah. called Overture, let us know and let the people who are listening know uh, specifically, you don't have to do these things to yeah, be the person that you are and to right, have man. that testimony. Yeah, Everyone's man. testimony is different, so yeah. before we play this track, why don't you uh, let those people know about that, man? Yeah, man, like, I just wanted to, like, you know, like you said, with the Christian... With rap in general, anything hip hop, it's always associated with something negative, and the, the negativity is usually that stuff that I, I mentioned, like uh -huh. you know, uh, thugging, you know, dealing drugs, you know, carrying guns, you know, uh, all those types of things. I put that in the song to let people know that just because, like, I was still a, a bad person before I met God, mm -hmm. and it was aside from those things. Like, I didn't have to be shooting people to be bad. Like, you know right, what I mean? Like, right. I was bad because I was less than after women. I was bad because, you know, I just, I was rebellious against God because I just didn't understand or knew what he died for. You know, I didn't, I didn't understand that. That made me a bad person in my eyes. This is my opinion. Like, I don't, I think that people associate those things with, with evil, mm. but 
you don't do that doesn't mean that you're not an evil person. Right. You understand what I mean? Yep. So I just wanted to, to, like a lot of a lot of these Christian rappers, their testimony is, I used to gang bang, I used to deal drugs, whatever, now I'm here. And Praise a God. lot of people can relate to that. But what about the people who have never done that before? Amen. All right, Cruz, man. I'm sorry. I'm excited, man. Let's hit that track, man. You're now listening to your boy, Cruz. Yep. Yeah. It's Overture. Get First ready. time hearing it on the radio. Oh. World premiere, baby. Yeah. Cruz. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, one, two. So, Mike told me, Mike told me, nobody knows who you are. You gotta introduce yourself. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is. Uh, well, that don't really matter. I've been sitting here on a mission to introduce you to daddy. The shell I'm in is full of swag, but don't confuse it. I was made in his image, so you know I had to use it. Dipping in the music, mix it with the faith of a kid who never possessed the ability to use it. Stand here to prove it. To prove that he can use anything and anyone he want to use. Yeah. I am just a crooked stick in the hands of a boss. Being used to winning, I ain't talking about lacrosse. I ain't talking about hockey. I ain't talking about polo. I'm just saying it's a king within me. I don't do this solo. I yell oh. When I hit people yelling yellow. Claiming they live in life, but really they losing so bro. Cause they thinking they fine when they should be saying uh oh. It's like they thinking they dimes, but really they just a no joke. It's no joke. Cause I was in the same boat. So fresh, so clean, but using the same soap. I was left it up good, them suds filling my eyes, but I thought nothing of it when really it made me blind. Blind, but the scales have been removed, and the veil has been uncovered, I'm listening up out the tomb, and woo, I was thinking dead, it was hazardous, I'm something like the living dead, you could call me Lazarus, it was death itself, and the death felt like a fire melted, anything that wasn't him, I felt it, it was electric, I met with a king and knelt down, he knighted me, now part of his elected, never been a thug, never been a shooter, I never took a gun and pressed it against the medulla, and I never dealt a drug, I never did one either, I was high off life, but let me tell you, who I really was, I was the king of queens, yeah they were digging me, they had their shovels, what that really mean is I was really dug, until the author of my life carried me up out the pit, they guess you can say became a deacon of his love, that was my was, fast forward the ears, see why they call it prison, I see that this is a gift, see why they call it a journey, man this is a trip, but come join me on this voyage, the destination begin. WKTO, Pure Fire Street, we're live on the air with Cruz. Eat it boy, crazy. Amen, amen, amen. Hey, this is the beginning, brother. Hey, by the way, man, we're going to be doing concerts here. We're going to do it Miami style up in here, man. So I'm already getting with Pastor Doug, and I'm telling I'm, you, brother, I'm roasting it's the on. pork already. <laughs> <laughs> it's on like Donkey Kong. Mojito. Oye, mi gente, si están oyendo ahí, reggaeton, bachata, traylo, que esto es el fuego. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. <laughs> you, you lost me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three words into that, I was God's I was, I was, Ask the I, Lord for the translation was, of tongues, brother. I was, I was head bobbing, man. I was hey, head bobbing. His face is so red, dude. <laughs> He's like, I heard fuego, oh, maybe. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, got, I got fire out of that whole thing. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I, and I actually man. have a, 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 a CD project that's called Bechetta. So I know okay. exactly. So when you said that, I was like, yes, I know what that is. Praise hey, Hallelujah. God. Praise God. <laughs> it's all, man. I I want my Hispanic people to know, bring it, bring it is on. We're going to start throwing some big yes, concerts. Yes, yes. Just like Miami. Yes. Yeah, we just got to, you know, th this ministry, the people that God has uh, intended us to not only reach but become is that out-of-box ministry, man. That's right. There is no compromise, strictly being diligent with what we know in the Word and making sure that that out-of-box experience of the Holy Spirit and of what God is doing will definitely be, um, you know, throughout this area, Daytona, Volusia County. We're talking about a whole county, baby. You know, that's what we came here to do. We're on a mission. We live here, but this is a missions trip for me. I'm not from here. Just came from Canada. Now we're down in Volusia County, and we're just making sure we're doing the will of the Father. We know who sent us. Amen. Hey, Jabez, you know what, man? I don't think I had enough yet with Cruz's music, man. I saw Alive, and I think, man, we're going to play that bad boy. Tell us a little bit about that song, Two Seconds, and let's roll into it. Uh, tell us, Cruz. Yeah, man, Alive is just, you know, being appreciative of, of, of everything that God is doing. That's, that's a point in my life. Uh, when I wrote that, you know, no matter what they try to do to, to get you to, to, you know, to die spiritually, you know, God got us and, and through Him, we are alive. 
Amen. Hallelujah. It's your boy Cruz. You are now about to hear another track called Alive. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Looking for escape, I'm on a road to another place. I'm never coming back, I'm never coming back. Took a trip up to outer space, and I'm never coming down. But you can join me if you wanna, cause I was given these wings, so I'm destined to fly. I'm leaving the ground, headed up to the sky. Cause I was held down for so long Tired in them chains I was time to break free from the light And even though the flight gets rough It'd be all worth it Cause the view is so much greater from the top oh, They thought I was so far But I would keep flying oh, Flying till I reach that finish line Flying over oceans, it's soaring overseas. I'm not just going through the motions. This is where I'm supposed to be. I, I flew over these mountains and seen some things I've never seen. I got a glimpse of my destination, and that's where I'm headed. And I won't stop till I get it. Cause I was given these wings, so I'm destined to fly. In the crown, headed up to the sky. Cause I was held down for so long, tired in them chains. Now it's time to break free from the light. And even though the flight gets rough, it'd be all worth it. Cause the view is so much greater from the top. <laughs> KTO, we are live here in uh, on uh, on the radio at 88.9 FM. It's my boy Cruz, straight from the MIA, bringing that fire truck. Oh, no. Brother, that's that. Yeah. Lower that window, go on 95, Woo! let that music blast a cruise through the neighborhood boy. and let it fly. <laughs> hey, we need auto too, man. <laughs> Man, listen, Ooh, hey, if man. you're behind the walls and you heard that, I know you were jumping. Yeah, Don't yeah. Don't tell me you didn't jump. Oh, man, <laughs> I remember cruising down uh, 95 down in Miami, I and I was just, uh, we, we we had the windows rolled down, and we were just letting it loose. There it is, man. That's that, that music right hey, there. Hey, Pastor Doug, one more.
more track, man. That's it. One more track mm -hmm. because this one is the fire track. This hey, song is called Jacob to Israel, man. The dialogue on this song is amazing. The lyrical, metaphorical ways that you went on this song. Just give them a few seconds. Let them know what it's about between you and God. Tell them, Cruz. All right, that's a point in my life where, you know, that was one of the rough spots that Sergio mentioned earlier in my life. Yes, and, you know, it was me questioning God. And then, you know, uh, God answered me. And it's the dialogue in, in this song. Yeah, y'all got to hear it. Listen, and make sure that your, your, your volume's up and pay close attention to these lyrics because I guarantee you've asked it before. It's your boy Cruz with listening to Jacob to Israel. Yeah. Hit that fire track, bro. I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why are you here? Turn around. I can't wait to get out of me. You will never make Ken do it. You will never do it. Wait, didn't I see this already? Doesn't even make any sense. Might as well give up. Just turn around. Do I go left? Which way do I go? I thought I was supposed to turn here. I thought this was the right way. You don't even belong here, man. You are alone. Turn back. 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 Find your way now. Where is he now? Is he listening now? I can't do it. I don't know how much farther I can go. I need your help. Where are you? I don't think I can make it. Where are you? This decision was gonna make everything better. everything better. Seems like I'm worse off than I was before. I was before. All hell broke loose as soon as I say yes to you. Yes to you. And now that I need you the most, you're not even here. So now I got some questions. And I need you to give me some answers. Some answers. Uh, I'm on a never ending road. When will it end? Where does it lead? What happens next? Where do I turn? Is it right or left? And when it ends, is there a prize? What do I get? When I cross that finish line, head to the sky, is this a celebration or my demise? Cause through these smiles, I see the lies. I feel my tears, I hear my cries. Is this all a dream? When I open up my eyes, will I see my fall? Will I see my rise? Am I back to life? Or did I just die? Am I born again? Or is this death in disguise? These are questions that I'm asking, head to the sky. And I'm hoping for an answer, what's your reply? These are questions that I'm asking, head to the sky. And I'm praying for an answer, what's your reply? It feels like you're gone, I really need you. Like never before, you're up in the sky. I can't see you, I need to feel you, I got some questions. I hear you, son. And I need the answer. I've been here the whole time. You want some answers? Okay. At the end of this road, you will see my face. But until that day comes, son, just feel my grace. Put your running shoes on and tie the lace and set your pace and run this race. Yeah, for your position, gotta know your place. And I'll be testing you with all the things that you face. And when they come, don't show your hate, show your faith. I get the table ready, enemies go get the plates. Yeah, gonna be the best meal you ever take. Stand, and what I'm giving you cannot be wasted. I wouldn't give it if you couldn't take. Yeah, you are chosen, son, fake, You came a long way to turn back. But if you turn back, what are you running to? What are you running from? What are you gonna do? You asking me questions, well, I got some for you. Will you follow my lead? Go where I tell you to go. Say what I tell you to say. Put what I say in your flow. Move when I'm telling you yes, be still when I'm telling you no. Rest when I tell you be still and move when I tell you to go. Do what you do unto me. Enough for man, not a show. Lower yourself to me. Rise while I'm making you grow. Do what I want you to do and learn what I want you to know. See what I want you to see. Reveal what I want you to show. Uh, I haven't really heard an answer yet. Uh, 
What will it be? Lord, my answer's yes. But what if I fall? Then I'll be there to catch. I never leave or forsake you. It's in the text. And I'll be there to guide and lead you with every step. I'm keeping you away from evil. That's bringing death. So I give you breath. I give you life. That's that CPR where Christ's presence rests. And it never leave. It never left. It was always where you are. The present tense. And that present was given from me. It was heaven sent. The last thing you should think of me is negligent. Yeah, you're right, Lord. You're effortless with your excellence. You took my pain away like medicine and you extra strength. I can't believe I conceived the thought to think that your presence left when the fact that I even have breath is proof that you're ever dead. You're ever dead. He's right here. He's right here. Jacob de Israel. Whew. That That's was crude. Yeah. It, man. So, so let me ask, uh, how, how can uh, our audience pick up your music? Well, um, When's the project you can pick up now? my music pretty soon. We're going to be uh, dropping the, the full mixtape uh, in January, on the 21st of January. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. It's called Destination. See, it's and you can like find uh, a couple of those tracks on there. Well, all the tracks you heard tonight, you can find on the project. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can get on me at, at Twitter, um, at I am underscore Cruz, and the same for Instagram as well. So it's I am underscore Cruz. Right. Yep. We will be hitting you up in minutes. Uh, and where's the, the, the album? Where is it going to be available? Is it going to be in iTunes? Now it's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's, this is actually a free project. It's gonna be a mixtape, and uh, the the download link will actually be available on my Twitter and Instagram uh, pages on those social sites. Praise so God. just be on the lookout for that on the twenty on the twenty first. I'll also have uh, those those uh, singles available uh, for download too uh, as soon as possible. As soon as my manager Mike allowed me to release it, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, Mike. I really appreciate you, man, because you said free, man, and that really touched me, man. And as an artist, I have a, a three albums myself, man, and I know how much time is involved and how much money, man. There's just so much money that's involved. A lot of people don't know that studio time. Whoa. So you're recording. And now you're mixing, and then you're mastering, and then you're the production. Man, that's just a lot. So you know what, man? I, I'm just lost of words right now. And I thank God for you, brother, that you're going to put this music out that's going to touch a lot of lives, man. To God man. be the glory, man. That's what I'm talking about, Cruz. Amen. Cruz, it was, a, it was an honor. It was a blessing to have you on the show today. Again, people, you're listening to WKTO 88.9. Your boy Cruz was able to visit through the studio, actually over phone. But for those of you who got to hear, this is the first place you got to hear him so we get to give that hand clap for yeah, that because we know that's what i'm talking yeah. about destination and it's just the same way as purifier street uh we we never play any of the stale stuff we we, we, we are, <laughs> we're right. fresh fresh hot out Come of the on, oven boy. fresh hot out of the oven that's what i'm saying hey, Holy praise god man. man praise god hey i want to thank you guys for having me man you know it's been a pleasure um hanging out with you guys for, for you know this half hour uh, Pastor yeah. Doug, you're, you're, you're all that I've heard that you are, man. <laughs> <laughs> Great man of God. Great man of God. All right, brother. You, you stay blessed, bless man. Cruz. God bless you, Cruz. All right. God bless you guys. God bless. WKTO, Purifier Street, 88.9 FM. We're live in the studios, man. This is it. Yo. So just uh, pop us into your little Tom Tom or your Garmin thing. And uh, 900 Old Mission Road. Remember, it's 900 Old Mission Road. <laughs> New Smyrna Beach, Florida, 32168. And just pop in here. You can come on down here. We uh, The door is open. The door we got, is, the, we got the coffee literally, on. Man. We got literally. the coffee on, the air conditioning. Come on in here. We're praying. We got prayer warriors happening. We oh, got people yeah. discussing Jesus. Because I, I can tell you, Miss Elizabeth over there, uh, Elizabeth is not going to discuss anything other than Jesus. Amen. Amen. So she's, she's got... Uh, uh, my wife so, Jennifer. Uh, there, there's awesome. Uh, you, Jennifer's out there. That's you, right. You, and that's, that's your little girl. My little girl Kaylee. Get out. Yeah. 
You're not that old. That, what? I'm Whoa. 41 years old. Ooh, I got he a, said it live. I got a 20, <laughs> a 20 year old daughter, a 18 year old son, a 15 year old son, and that beautiful eight little, eight year old little girl. That's what I'm saying. It's all, man. It's the anointing that makes me look young. That's so why I look 18. Hey, hey come on. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, come on, don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he pure, he got purified through the fire. <laughs> That's it. That's the reason why. We, man, we were, we used to be called Club Zion. This was a, a long time ago. We were called Club Zion, and then somebody got a Kind of uh, <laughs> stealing their names, so they got upset with us. So we put out this 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 uh, search for what what our new name was, and we got all kinds of things from club. <laughs> They're just made up stuff. Yeah, <laughs> people were sending in grocery lists full of name choices for us, and we uh, we walked into a store and we saw this this sticker that said pure fire on it and i was mm. like mm. that's it i like that that's it we're, we're on flames in spanish we're, we're, is puro it. fuego puro oh. fuego there yeah. it is you yeah. yeah. that's the dog yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be ready i I'm, I'm supposed to go to the dominican republic uh, oh. uh later on this this year and so if i hang out with you guys enough uh i should be able to be ready right Praise what God. You say? amen amen, amen. Amen. Just Amen. asking you shall receive. Amen. <laughs> hey, you know what? I usually don't play Christmas music. I, I kind of stay away from it. I played Christmas music right before Christmas. I played, you know, still, if you Google search Christian rap Christmas, you, you still get a, 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 an old cross movement thing called gift rap that was a million years ago. It was wow. a good, good song, but there's not a whole heck of a lot of Christmas music. No, in this no you're right. But uh, Social Club just came up with one, so we're going to play it. Social Club is the best. <laughs> Christmas, you filthy hand. Yo, Mr. Hoodie and Converse, long border through Fairfax. All I want for Christmas is my Herschel bag on my bear's hat. You don't really know what I know when I backtrack, killing everything I don't know. I'm not that bad. I just gotta win for the kids in the back class in the back seat with the drums in the back. back. I'm going on my heart, but I know it's not that bad. Cause I found the love, I'ma go, I'ma catch that. If you don't know, but I know, but I ask that. If you don't know, I'm a problem. Mass class, social club, the original. I'ma tell you straight, no subliminal. He's alive and I'm living proof that we the best. Miss Misfits from the social club. Tis the season, he's the reason why we showing love. Happy birthday, Jesus. Birthday. You, we celebrate. We love you. And we wish it could be Christmas every day. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas, Misfits from the social club. Tis the season, he's the reason why we showing love. Happy birthday, Jesus. You, we celebrate. We love you. And we wish it could be Christmas every day. Oh, yeah. social. Uh -huh. On the day that we mark as the 25th, 25th. The illusions were different, but you get my drift. The immeasurable gift was given to us in the form of a child who would grow to bear all of our sins on his shoulders. And y'all wonder why we want to celebrate him at least one day out of the year, brother. Hold up. Get your ugly sweaters with the major scenes. Major scenes. Take the dust off them. Celebrate the king. Bless. Bless his name. Why we the best in the game. So during the holidays, I tell him my God and brains burn. From the social club, tis the season. He's the reason why we showing love. Happy birthday, Jesus! You we celebrate, we love you. and we wish it could be Christmas every day. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas, misfits from the social club. Tis the season. He's the reason why we showing love. Happy birthday, Jesus! You we celebrate, we love you. and we wish it could be Christmas every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys give up? Oh yeah, thirsty for more. <laughs> WKTO, Pure Fire Street. <laughs> Christmas oh, song man. by Social Club, oh, man. man. First John chapter 2, man, says this. My little children, I'm, say, I'm writing you these things so that you may not sin. But if anybody does sin, he has an advocate with Amen. the Father. So this is not about Hallelujah. being sinless. Yes. This is not about sinless perfectionism or anything else like that. It is, it is about understanding and seeing the sin involved in your life, realizing that you got a lawyer. That's better than Super Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Super Dave. No, there is a guy out there. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. There's a guy. There's a lawyer that's better. 
And uh, wh my little children, I'm writing you these things that you may not sin, but if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. Amen. He himself is the propitiation. That's the provision. Uh, for uh, he, he, he was he he is the he is the thing that is actually given to the Father that stops the wrath. Hmm. Hmm. He's the propitiation for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the whole world. And so th realize that th that this wasn't a regional God. We didn't just birth Jesus in the manger to, to provide a way out for Israel. We didn't just provide a way out for Middle Eastern side. We didn't provide a, a way out for nice folks or for white folk. Or for black folk, or whatever. It, when it, when it came down to the, the, this, was a national thing. This was That's this, right. was, this said, if there is a spot of sin on you, which there is through Adam, you know, if there's a spot of sin on you, and you are a sinner, which you are, and and don't try to gloss over it, man. Don't do, whatever you do, don't gloss over your sin. Hmm. Realize your sin creates a separation between That's you. Right. It creates a chasm that cannot be 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 overcome. You can't just polish it off. You can't just chip away at it. It's got to be dealt with, and it's got to be dealt with with the only way. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin, period, on, end of quote. Right. That's right. So when it comes down to it, the, this is the word here. The word of God says that this, the, the, that, that which the Father required, the propitiation for sin, was in Jesus himself. Amen. Mm. And Hallelujah. that's what it is. That's the gospel message, pure and simple. The Christmas message is God comes near. Emmanuel, the gospel message is God comes near. The, the problem is that there is no other religion on the face of the earth. There's no other religion. I, I beg to differ if you believe Islam or, or Buddhists or any other folks have the, the way to be able to have a connection with an, with an intimate father. That's right. There is none. Amen. And you know what? God, God is so powerful, guys, that, I mean, you, I, when I first came to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, there were just things I didn't want to let go of, you know, because... I, I was holding on to that that sinful nature in my life. And honestly, all I had to do was say, God, here, take it. I no longer want this sin to be part of my life Amen. anymore. And I'll tell you, you can live holy and righteous unto God, but you got to give it all to him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Got to give it all. For sure. Not just a partial thing. That's right. Not Can't just let him into like a quarter of my life. <laughs> Not at all. I'll just take I'll just take a little half calf deep. The, uh, a little little half calf Jesus. Oh, that's not gonna do it, brother. <laughs> that's How about not a little lukewarm? So what if no. you trust in no. Christ? <laughs> 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 so Jabez, what if you trust in Christ with fifty percent of your heart? Are you entering heaven? Uh, no. What about eighty percent? No. What about ninety nine percent of your Keep heart? Keep going one more higher. So you're saying with ninety nine percent of trusting in Christ, you're not going to heaven? There's one percent that you're missing. All is one hundred. All means all. All. All doesn't mean some. All. All doesn't mean just a few. Amen. All doesn't mean just my neighbor and then my cousin, but all means all, everybody, everything, the whole enchilada. Amen. Speaking of enchilada, my wife said my neighbor made me some chalupa, so I can't oh, wait to get home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One time for chalupa. <laughs> hey, I want to give a quick shout out to Holly, Pastor Alex, Shannon, Logan, See, Eddie, you gotta, Hope, and Hannah. And you got to understand, for this white boy over here, the only chalupas that we get are like Taco Bell. <laughs> Shout out to Dory for the chalupas and Chantel, my wife. Yeah, can't wait for Nothing. that. Nothing. 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 Just man. Taco Bell. I, I spent no, 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 I spent 13 years in, in uh, Houston, so I uh, I got my I got my fill. Okay. But, well, you but, just come but, over. But just come over. I'm, We're I'm, I'm there. I'm there. We're, it's, I'm that's there. it. That's I'm it. There. There's just a secret uh, knock you gotta do on the on the door. Pass. <laughs> I gotta you, love that one. You knock three times and go. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta work on that. <laughs> I gotta work on that. Man, I got some dumb dumb happening. So you gotta tell uh, me some what's, yeah, what's going real on. Real quick, what? before you guys hear this track by Tadashi and Lecrae, dumb dumb, I found some amazing information. There's a, a, a show called So You Think You Could Dance, and one of their main dancers actually used this song to do a dance to. Wait, wait, really? a secular television? They put a Christian song? They put a Christian song. It was the first Christian rap song, period, ever on the show. What? They used this song, Dum Dum. They said 3.5 million viewers wow. viewed in that night was the most viewers in television that Man, day. Praise God. So, of course, it got tweeted everywhere. They were thanking the guy for uh, playing that song, for representing Jesus Christ Amen. and what he does. So, guys, as you're about to listen to this, know that 3.5 million were also able to hear what you're about to hear right now representing Jesus Christ. Come on. Shout out to Chalupa Ray! Yay, yay, yay! <laughs>
Dum dum diddy dum dum and they don't know. Come on. It's your boy Tadashi and Lecrae. And now it's gotta work. Oh, it's gotta work. There we go. It's that Chalupa again. See man, I'm see what I'm saying. Chalupa. Come on, I guess I'm just a misfit, huh? Yeah. Like I don't push a Maserati, Beamer, Biz, or Bentley. Uh -uh. And yeah, I wrote a foreign. What? And this I'm looking spiffy. Hey, go ahead and doubt us. Doubt us. What you know about us. And we ain't got to follow, then we take another route. No, we ain't blowing trees, bro. Open up my window. I see you popping tags, but you know that's why your in, 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 in slow. I try to tell them we was coming down and let us in. Why they hating like we all a bunch of hooligans? No gimmicks. Spirit in my lyrics. Know when people hear it, they gon' love her, they gon' fear it. And it ain't how we flow, cause when we show up at our show, they say we go so hard in the paint, they can't wait for some more. But some others say we preach it. Some closed minded geeches. Like we ain't heard of Marks like a Nietzsche. Believe me. They don't know about us. 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 They think we dumb, dumb, diddy, dumb, dumb. But they gon' know. They gon' know about us. They gon' know about us. Hey, they gon' know about us. They they gon' know about us. Oh, they gon' know about us. They they gon' know about us. Oh, they gon' know about us. They gon' know about us. Six two two plus gone. Subtract, but content like I had enough. Long hair, don't care some more, and plus I'm padded up. I know this blow your mind, and I ain't blowing pine. Not talking women looking skimpy every other line. Yeah, I got a dime, I'm about to make a mind. Life in Christ got me finished like across the line. With, with, with the way that you telling me to do it, sell out to sell out. Nah, man, it's so foolish. Done, done, trying to beat you, it don't fit. Misfit, I don't trip, everybody hate Chris. They saying get with this, just like a membership. They talking slick that this is it, but it's just gibberish. I say I'm interested, they say you're different. Oh, you gon' know even if you don't let us in. They don't know about us, they don't know about us. They don't know about us, they don't know about us. They don't know about us, they don't know. They think we dumb, dumb, diddy, dumb, dumb. But they gon' know, they gon' know about us. They gon' know about us. Hey, they gon' know about us. They they gon' know about us. Oh, they gon' know about us. They they gon' know about us. Oh, they gon' know about us. So we finna go. They say we, they say we, they say we. So we finna go. Dumb on them, dumb on them like I could be. Dumb on them, dumb, dumb on them like you should be. Dumb on them, dumb on them like I would be. Dumb on them, dumb, dumb on them. Yeah, that's cool with me. They don't know about us. They don't, they don't know about us. 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 They don't, they don't. They think we dumb, dumb, diddy, dumb, dumb. But they gon' know. They gon' know about us. They gon' know about us. Hey, they gon' know about us. They, they, they gon' know about us. Oh, they gon' know about us. They, they, they gon' know about us. Oh, they gon' know about us. They gon' know about us. Check, check. Yeah. KTO. Man, I got I got people saying fuego a whole bunch of times over there. I got I got the whole side of the building over here. Hey, so we're having a good fire, time. Man. Fire. Man. I, I, I gotta take a crash course. I gotta take a crash course in Spanish. I'm telling you. Especially if you start playing reggaeton. You know uh, what I'm saying? I brought, uh, I mean, I brought some Spanish. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But you, you got it? I don't think, you're ready. I don't no, think they're ready no, for man, it. Are you kidding me? We got a listening audience that is sitting there chafing at the bit right now. For real? Yes. How, uh, yes. Mira, si hay un hispano que está oyendo el radio, oye, llama. Si ya me viste como cubano, dije, hispano. Llama. Llama. Mira, el número es 386 427 8970. Mira, yeah, but if I answer the phone, I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm gonna be <laughs> like hanging up on the guy. Know what you're <laughs> talking about. 386 427 8970. Si quieren reggaeton. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Look at he's all the other words. Just, just, just fuego. <laughs> yeah, how do you say hallelujah in Spanish? Hallelujah. 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 Hey. You gotta say ja. <laughs> Praise Amen, God. Amen, man. Well, praise the Lord. This is exciting. This is wonderful, man. Being able to just spread the gospel in so many other ways in a format that brings so many different uh, uh, people together, like this music here and just the love that we get to share with one another. I mean, people wouldn't realize, but it's our first time not only being here, but being with Pastor Doug longer than just a little event. 
You know what Amen. I mean? And you can tell that just over listening, this is a family. Why? Because we serve the same father. We have the same Abba Father in our lives. And there is just a, a communication with us and the Lord that brings us together. And there is a family. And we are all co-heirs of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. It's beautiful. Praise God. Guys, while, 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 while Pastor Doug is looking for, for this song that we're about to drop, you know what's been stirring up in my spirit, man? I really feel this tonight that some him. people are listening on the, on the radio and, and you're feeling rejected tonight. I want to tell you, man, that Jesus loves you. Maybe you haven't heard this in a long time, but I want you to hear it tonight. Jesus loves you. That's right. Amen. You that are listening on the radio right now, Amen. Jesus loves you, man. Just the way you are, man. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that if you draw nearer to him, he will draw nearer to you. That's a promise for you tonight, man. Amen. If you just pull over right where you're at and say, God, I want to draw nearer to you. Listen, you're talking to a person that was in the world, lost, and, and I got a long testimony, but I took someone's life. I killed them in, in 1994. I was out in the streets of, of Miami, man, and I was living this, this thug life, and you you know what? I, I took someone's life in self-defense, but I don't know if you've ever been there before. Maybe you're listening to me in prison and you, you're probably connecting right now. But, you know, you feel rejected, man. You feel like n you can't be forgiven for that because you took someone's son or, or someone's daughter. And, and But I want to tell you something. God forgave me. He healed me and he set me free. Amen. God is real, guys. It's been 17 long years that I've been serving the king of kings and lord of lord the father of all nation and i'm telling you man i was an atheist i wanted nothing to do with god but when he knocked on my door and i said jesus come in and be lord of my life i'm telling you notice i said lord i said lord because he completely took over me tonight if you're feeling rejected amen. just call upon the name of jesus amen and that's it. And that, you know, that that can be the most honest prayer. Yes. You might not. Uh, yeah, I, I get simple. Uh, I get guys that come to church and you ask them to pray and they go uh, 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 and they freeze up and they have no idea how to pray. But when prayer should be the most good, most easy thing to communicate with a loving God. But but when you say help, when you just in, yes. the, in the middle, midst of desperation, cry out and say, help, Father, that's help, right. Father, help, help, Father. Help, Father, and you, and you use that name, Jesus. That's right. Jesus, there it is. You know, because again, the again, the, 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 even the word Jesus, um, and, and, you know, people get into all these theological debates in terms of Yeshua, y Yahashua, I, I, you know, I, all that stuff is, is, is wickedness, just even being involved in the controversy. When I, when I speak the word, I don't care whether I speak it in Spanish, whether I speak it in English, whether I speak it in Arabic, whether I speak it in Greek, you know, I'm speaking salvation. That's right. Amen. Mm. I'm proclaiming it. salvation. But listen, it says confess Amen. with your mouth, but believe in your heart. Pastor, I believed in my heart. Amen. I grew up without a father. But I believed what the word of God said, that he will never leave me nor forsake you. Guys, listen to this. Listen, he'll never leave you orphan. Right now, if you were extend your hands right where you're at and say, Amen. Jesus, here I am. Take my heart. That's all it takes. Amen. You will be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have, for those of you guys that have not seen this, go ahead. Um, for the one that's just having the thought that uh, I got to reap what I sowed. <laughs> no, yes. that's the world. That's right. Wow. The voice of God says the voice of truth, the voice of forgiveness. That's right. Says performance that acceptance. I died on the cross for that. <sighs> yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen, so amen. we just ask, Lord, for <laughs> thank you, Lord, for reception. Lord, yes. We just come against anything that would keep anyone from receiving your truth right now. Yes, God. <laughs> Open ears now Amen. in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Thank name. you, Lord. What is sowed what was sown in righteousness, Lord, let that be reaped in Jesus' Amen. name. Thank you, Father. Amen. You know, I was uh, talking to the guys a, a little earlier about the fact that I have about sixty five followers on Twitter. You know, I, I'm 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 growing. I'm 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 Come exploding, on. man. I'm exploding. <laughs> I'm on the scene. I don't got that one because I'm not a Twitter. Know. Praise God. <laughs> and and I, I was hearing that T Pain hmm. uh, put a, a link on his hmm. on his Twitter feed one time and said, "This guy, th you got to hear this." Hmm. And and just you just said something real simple like, "You got to hear this." Put the link on there, and people are you know of course curious. They're going to click on it. Right. Yeah. Right. And so you know he's got a million followers. 
Wow. And this is, an, uh, you know, I can't speak to whether or not he's saved or not saved, you know. Uh, but he definitely is he's produced kind of worldly stuff. But at the same time, he was definitely affected by this. Check it out. This is propaganda. It's the full story of life crushed into four minutes. The entirety of humanity in the palm of your hand crushed into one sentence. Listen, it's intense, right? God, our sins, paying everyone life. The greatest story ever told that's hardly ever told. God. Yes? God, the maker and giver of life. And by life, I mean any and all manner and substance, seen and unseen, what can and can be touched, thoughts, image, emotions, love, atoms, and oceans, God. All of it is handiwork, one of which is masterpiece, made so uniquely that angels look curiously. The one thing in creation that was made with his imagery, the concept, so cold. It's the reason I stay bold, how God breathed in a man and he became a living soul. Formed with the intent of being infinitely, intimately fond. Creator and creation held an eternal bond. And it was placed in perfect paradise till something went wrong. A species got deceived and started lusting for his job. An odd list of complaints as if the system ain't working and used that same breath he graciously gave us to curse him. And that sin seed spread through our soul's genome. And by nature of your nature, your species, you participated in the mutiny, our, yes, our sins. It's nature inherited, black in the human heart. It was over before it started. Deceived from day one and led away by our own lust. There's not a religion in the world that doesn't agree that something's wrong with us. The question is, what is it and how do we fix it? Are we eternally separated from a God that may or may not have existed? But that's another subject. Let's keep grinding. Besides trying to prove God is like deep in a lion, homie. It'll need your help. Just unlock the cage. Let's move on on how our debt can be paid. Short and sweet. The problem is sin. Yes, sin. It's a cancer. An asthma, choking out our life force, forcing separation from a perfect and holy God. And the only way to get back is to get back to perfection. But silly us, trying to pass the course of life without referring to a syllabus. This is us. Keep up your good deeds. Chant, pray, meditate. But all of that, of course, is spraying cologne on a corpse. Or you could choose to ignore it as if something don't stink. It's like stepping in dog poop and refusing to wipe your shoe, but all of that ends with how good is good enough. Take your silly list of good deeds and line them up against perfection. Good luck. That's life past your pay grade. The cost of your soul, you ain't got a big enough piggy bank, but you could give it a shot. But I suggest you throw away the list, because even your good acts are an extension of your selfishness. But here's where it gets interesting. I hope you're closely listening. Please don't get it twisted. It's what makes our faith unique. Here's what God says is part A of the gospel. You can't fix yourself. Quit trying. It's impossible. Sin brings death. Give God his breath back. You owe him. Eternally separated, and the only way to fix it is someone die in your place, and that someone gotta be perfect, or the payment ain't permanent. So if and when you find a perfect person, get him or her to willingly trade their perfection for your sin and death in. Clearly, since the only one that can meet God's criteria is God, God sent himself as Jesus to pay the cost for us. His righteousness. His death functions as payment. Yes, payment. Wrote a check with his life, but at the resurrection we all cheered because that means the check cleared. Pierced feet, pierced hands, blood-stained son of man, fullness, forgiveness, free passage into the promised land. That same breath that God breathed into us, God gave up to redeem us. And anyone and everyone, and by everyone I mean everyone, who puts their faith and trust in Him, and Him alone can stand in full confidence of God's forgiveness. And here's what the promise is, that you are guaranteed full access to return to perfect unity by simply believing in Christ and Christ alone. You are receiving life. Yes, life. This is the gospel. God.
bought our sins, paying everyone life. See it? That's propaganda, wow. man. Giving the gospel out in four minutes. Powerful, powerful, That's what I'm powerful. That's what I'm saying. Wow. I pray T Pain got to not man, only hear the whole imagine? thing, but but ask you, the Lord right there I, in that amen. moment. Yeah. Amen. I pray so, man. You know, you you got <clears throat> I don't want to bust on these guys, but you got Rick Ross talking about the Holy Spirit. You got, you know, and you're like, ah, oh, oh. you yeah. got Jesus and you got right. all that kind yeah. of stuff. And yeah. you're like, oh. I mean, it's it's simple, Pastor. By the fruits, you would know them. Amen. Yeah. You know, so it's not like you're talking about them. Is what black is black, what's white is white. You're saved or you're not. Amen. Rough. Amen to that. It's Praise rough. God. It is rough. It's rough. It is. And uh, there's a lot of people that still want to grip onto the last bit of that last shred yep. of yeah. their will and, yep. and sit there and say, I don't want to let go of that. Yep. And, right. and to do, to not let go of that is to not receive the gospel. Amen. Once you fully let go, life oh, man. changes, changes dramatically. So I understand we got some Jabez things happening. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Y'all about to hear a track called On My Knees. Um, man, the Lord's blessed me tremendously. Uh, of course, it's all that is done. The, the Payment? Yes, it's on it. the album The Pavement. Okay. Um, Y'all can definitely download that or email me at jbez1219 at gmail.com. But real quick, where, where the Lord brought me to is 2 Timothy chapter 2. I want you to hear this. Amen. It says, You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. This song, On My Knees, is really about intercession and really getting into this warfare. You know, that's what I know that the Lord has called me to, into a prophetic intercession and being able to pray for people, pray for a body, uh, stand in the gap with the Holy Spirit that's already interceding for our needs constantly. And there is a war out there. And if you entangle yourself with things going on in this world when you're supposed to be aiming at something, like guys that are in the army, the enemy ends up attacking them and gets his way. But when you're in the army and you're focused on your enemy and you got your aim right, and you're on your knees and you're praying, to the Lord, you got your right weapon tree, which is definitely the Bible and the scriptures and the word. You're able to attack the enemy so it will not have any power, no dominion in the name of Jesus. And that's where this song really came from, man. I mean, I'm about Amen. to go minister a brand new uh, sermon, but let's just get into this track called On My Knees by your boy Jabez. Jabez! JB! Y'all get ready for him! <laughs> yeah. With affairs of the things of this life And doing the hardship as a soldier of Christ I'm on a mission enlisted Couldn't resist it in the transition Not a competition I consider this life We evangelists and scavengers And a hunt through the pain of those attacking us Training up to be pro, not damages I damage you Cause this aggressive intercession Like football's perception It's called an interception No penalties, cause it's accepted When I'm on my knees, my aim is perfected I'm guaranteed to be the flame It's effect directed to the enemy affecting the mess so stay clear out the way got the way seen another brother kneeling kneeling the hell's gonna pay you can tell that it's sick that when the brothers weapons let them get down and it's been rounds through the pain in his name to shake the ground so let the violent just take it by force no concierge this is enforcing doors so we serving the main course to pray when i'm on my when i'm on my knees when i'm on my when i'm on my, when I'm on my Like the towers, I put a dent in 
in the cement, it's Jabez on the pavement. When I'm on my, when, I, when I'm on my stop me. When I'm on my, when, I, when I'm on my stop me. Hey. When I'm on my, when, I, when I'm on my stop me. Hey. When I'm on my knees. Hey. Hey. It's impossible to stop me. When I'm on my, when, I, when I'm on my knees. Hey. When I'm on my, when, I, when I'm on my stop me. Hey. When I'm on my. Hallelujah. That was it, y'all. Again, it's your boy yeah. Jabez. You just heard On My Knees. I am no longer on Facebook, but you can catch me on Twitter. I am Jabez. That's J B E Z, as my boy Doug would say. Hey, so if you're on your knees, can I stop you? No. It's impossible to stop <laughs> me. Get it, boy. I, 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 pray, prayer, <laughs> man, I want to tell y'all, prayer life is very important. That's Amen. right. Prayer Amen. life is, that's your main communication to the Father. You have your word and you have that prayer. Uh, get into that prayer time because it is so vital. So can, vital. Can I tell you something powerful? Please. Do you know that before you are saved, your spirit is not activated? Hmm. When you confess with your mouth, Romans 10, 9, you confess in, with your mouth and you believe in your heart that God rose Jesus from the dead. Right. Guys, what happens is not only are you regenerated and made brand new, but theologically speaking, your spirit is made alive, hmm. and that is how you speak to God. Isn't that powerful? That is very powerful. I appreciate Pastor Sergio for saying that, you know, because it, 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 when we elaborate this stuff, it allows everyone to understand it simpler. Amen. And that's the Amen. thing. The Bible, the, the gospel is supposed to be that simple. We are all supposed to be able to understand it, no matter Amen. what language you speak. I mean, that's why there's interpretation. <laughs> Praise God. Hey, so this track I want to do now is called... Called, uh, coming with fire uh -oh. you see a lot of people know the Jesus that died on the cross you see he's the Lamb of God that died for the sins of this world but how many truly know that Jesus is coming back hmm. but he's not coming back as the Lamb of God no but he's coming back as the Lion of Judah Judah praise and God. the Bible says that here on earth is gonna be seven years of tribulation is gonna be a time like never before Wow God's controlled wrath is going to be upon men but guess what all the believers are going to be raptured up in glory where Jesus himself is going to give us crowns and we're going to be eternally uh, uh, reunited with Jesus Christ and given glorified bodies. Hallelujah. But here in earth, there's going to be a time of tribulation like never before. So this song is called Coming with Fire because we know that if you don't give your life to Jesus Christ now, but you're going to be part of that tribulation. Man, so, I tell you that much. Pastor Doug, hit that track so they can hear it. Coming with fire. Hallelujah. He's coming with fire. Where is it on? He's is coming it with on? flames. Flames. Is it, on, is it on the center side? Or the Man, that is awesome. Fast, medium, or slow. That is a beautiful track. Guys, listen, we have been able to minister this track throughout uh, uh, Miami, uh, Broward County, of course, the Miami-Dade County area is now bringing it to Volusia. In fact, we even took it to Canada. And normally when we get to minister this song, Pastor Sergio lets people know to say it with the, with the hook. He's coming with fire. Fire. He's coming with flame. Flames. And if you guys are in the car, wherever it is that you're at, and once you hear the song go on and he's saying, he's coming with fire, make sure that you scream that fire. These are things that we are declaring. When you are listening to music like this, there's, there's power in the music. And here's the thing. No matter what type of music you're listening to, you're declaring it. Why? Because even if you're not saying nothing, you're saying the lyrics in your mind. So if you're listening to secular music, you're declaring the things that these people are pouring into you. They're planting a seed of either life or death. But when you're listening to music like this, what we're declaring is power. When we're letting you know that Jesus Christ is coming back and you start uh, repeating those words as well, you are building up your spirit. You are pouring in that seed that's going to allow faith to mature and the body to move. Let's go ahead and hear that track by Pastor Streets. He's coming with fire. Oh, yeah. voice. A great multitude in heaven saying hallelujah. hallelujah. Salvation and glory and honor and power belongs to our Lord.
none is thy king of kings, lord of lords, lord. and not his mouth, a sharp sword. He will strike the nations, causing tribulation, Satan will be bound. Sentence to damnation, and you know the lake of fire with the false prophets and the liars. Nobody wanna see you burn, so listen and just learn. Your life is his concern, so listen to these words. I know you know that Jesus died and he rose, so why you act like you don't know? And no conviction, homie. Bring in the fire, man. man. Bring Pastor it. Serge. Hallelujah. Come on Pastor fire. Sergio. Man, we got we got we got callers calling in. It's wow. it's just great. Praise Knowledge, God. what's up, sir? What's up? You on? Hello. Knowledge, you're on the air, man. It was good. It was good. How are you how you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing That's great, what man. Pure fire radio, what's going on Pure in the fire building? Bringing the heat. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what it is. Amen, amen. So tell me about what's going on with you, man. You you doing your 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 shows and and I yeah I've been hearing about um uh the, what's it called the the man the more than the man tour yeah oh yeah um, man yeah um uh, G Rain more than, say it again it was G Rain with you yeah 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 G Rain uh, and uh, KT three amen. Yeah, man. We had um uh, a couple of weeks ago. We was up in um in Ohio. We did a, a few shows in Ohio and a few shows in um in Indiana. So just been moving, trying to grind, man. We what we're really trying to get into right now is uh is, is a lot more outreach. Amen. Amen. You gonna tell us where you're doing these outreaches at? You have a plan already for that knowledge? Uh, what we're trying to do is uh, is to set up whenever we're trying to actually get to Daytona. Um, I'm trying to talk to some people over there. Um, I don't know what happened, um, but we're trying to get everything square up there. And um, just, just anywhere. And I'm saying I just got off the phone earlier today with some people in Wisconsin. They're trying to do some things out there. And we possibly going to be probably going to D- Detroit, to, to New York, to Jersey, and to Philly. That's what I'm talking about. So Philly, my hometown, man. Hey, hey, hey. I got, Hershey. I, I, got, I, remember, I remember that. What? Hershey, Hershey Park is where I got saved. That's a, oh, Hershey Park. Really, yeah, exactly. That's I was, where I got saved. Right right Hershey Park, right, right outside of Philly. Praise God. Hey, so knowledge, how long you been saved now? 
Ah, uh, 13 years. Praise the Woo. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 13 years serving the Lord. And you've been doing music for how long now? I've been doing music since I was nine. I'm 33 now, so you can put the math together. <laughs> I am. So, so you basically started with secular, and then you moved on to Christian rap. Yes. Amen. Praise God, man. That's awesome. That's a great. That's a great transition, brother. Now, can you let let people know that type of transition, man? Because some people, right when they, you know, come to accept Christ and they starting to do the the music for the Lord, glorifying the Father, and if they were doing secular music for a long time and they about to freestyle, you know, sometimes they don't, you know, come out right. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have my run my, my run ins before, man. Um, uh, the trend. <laughs> Go ahead, knowledge. Tell us, tell us some knowledge. <laughs> The transition, you know what I'm saying, is if, uh, if you're not really keen on, on doing freestyling and, and you're just coming out of the secular arena, I advise you to just sit down, Amen. chill Amen. for a minute, you know what I'm saying, right. because any and everything comes out of your mouth when you freestyle. And if you don't know how to control your words, then uh, you might say some words you might not want to say. Well, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, man. That's what I'm talking exactly. about. Exactly. Yeah. So Amen. you need to renew the mind, get in that word, have that prayer life fellowship and that's it that's what's going to come out of your heart exactly exactly you know what I'm so you gotta in order for you to put that good word or for, for that good word to come out of you you gotta constantly deposit it in you amen man i i, I understand you got together with jacob israel again and and did uh did a, a little video i was i was ready to head down to lee and terry's man i, I was <laughs> I, I was hungry i got hungry that's I, what it is i watched yeah, your video um, man you did your video from uh, the the on the streets of Paramore and or in Orlando. Oh yeah, yeah, that's hard hard times. Hard, hard times, times yeah. man. Nope. So I was I was gonna I was gonna invite you to lunch down at Lee and Terry's. <laughs> that's what it is. Hey, whatever y'all you know saying, whatever you ready to invite me out there, again, <laughs> I'm in the area. That's it. Praise God. Hey, hey, knowledge. What is your life scripture? You know how everybody has a life scripture. Oh, come on. Yeah. What's your life scripture, man? I think. Everyone needs to know this one. The life scripture is actually, um, it comes out of Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. And let, 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 me, let me go ahead and get that out for you, cousin. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is what, what God places in my heart, you know what I'm saying, a long time ago. Amen. Um, it's actually the, 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 the foundation scripture for, um, for my, uh, my radio station as well. You know what I'm saying? And, and basically what it, what it talks about is we always have to have a song to sing unto God. And everything that we do, we must we must do it unto the Lord. Amen. You know what I'm saying? But let me, let me, let me, let me get it right for you all real quick. And it goes and it reads out of chapter, thir uh, chapter 3, verse 16. It says, let the, uh, let the word of, the, of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another, and psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, and, and he's given me that gift to, to, to bring forth music, whether it be through rapping or anybody else doing through singing. You know what I'm saying? You always got to give uh, 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 honorable praise unto God. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And, and sing, sing with melody in your heart. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, you know what I'm saying, even just this thinking on to God, you know what I'm saying? It, it just brings melody in, so, into your heart. So, last question I have for you. So I, I think it's important for everyone to know, what do you do outside of music? Are you a youth pastor, minister, or you sow into someone's life? What do you do outside of music? Who's knowledge? Outside of, yeah. outside of that, um, outside of music, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm more focused, like I say, on, on doing outreach. Um, I have my home church, which is um, uh, King Jesus Ministries. Um, because I'm dealing so much in, in the radio station and, and with the music and things of that nature, and I got my household that I'm taking care of, uh, um, they, they want me to be more active when it comes down to, to teaching. I believe God has his, has his place and his season for me to do that um when it when it comes to past because i i know truly he has he's a, he's equipped me to do that those things but outside of the music i actually um i am the vice president of hope for the hood which is a um, non-profit organization that goes into uh juvenile prisons okay and ministers to, uh, minister to the young kids that's Hallelujah. actually on their way Amen. to the big house praise god do you minister there also yes praise amen. the lord amen praise god 
Yeah. So, and I'm waiting for I'm waiting for August when we can get you back into Tomoka and we're 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 gonna try to set things up with Perry and and uh, get you yeah back yeah. In there. And I, I, that's something that I, I'm not understanding how I'm able to go into to the juveniles, but I can't go into the to the to the adults. I don't know. It, it, that doesn't make any sense to me. I'll have to talk to Perry about it. Maybe it's too much knowledge. Have you thought about that? <laughs> <laughs> we want the <laughs> so man. I keep keep catching your sh your show, and and uh, we, we you know we've been we've been kind of following the same music, and I, I was talking to you about you know some of the when you were you were playing seven, and we, I was playing seven too, and I was like, oh man, I'm loving this song called The Fall. And then all of a sudden, I, then I played another track, and I was like, "Oh man, I'm in trouble." And oh like, yeah, yeah, man. Um, uh, did you catch the, um, the interview with Gospel Gangsters? No, 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 no. You yeah. you were out there with Chili? Yeah, I had um, I had them on um, my my um. Yeah, no, I heard uh, about. It. I saw it. I saw it. I was it was on a Sunday, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was yes. on the countdown. So it is, and, yeah, um, yeah. And cause, because you know they they use the same words, some, right. some of the same words uh, that Seven uses and whatnot. And um, I actually asked them to explain it uh, to me, the reason and why they do the things that they do or use a certain language that they use. Yeah. And, and pretty much their explanation to me was um, because it's, 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 how, it's how they relate to the people, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it was like uh, in the hood that they stay in, uh, they don't they don't talk to you. Hey, brother, or, how you doing, sir, or whatnot. You know what I'm saying because you you either get looked that funny or you might even get tried. Right. You know what I'm saying so they try to, to they try to relate to them because I believe and, and I kind of part, partly believe like on the west side on the west coast they 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 got a whole different thing going on right. over there. You know what I'm saying their whole lifestyle is is, is is a whole lot faster and a whole lot different than mm. than how other people are living their lives. I'm not saying it's not, not corrupt or it's not it's not fast paced in other places. It's just I, I feel like they got they hold a whole different vibe over there. No, it's a relatively minor point, but when I when I look at it and I realize that there there could be people monitoring what I play on the radio <laughs> at some stages <laughs> some, some stages in the game I had to go, Whoa, okay. Maybe, maybe not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I, I try to, to try to monitor well, cause when that I, I play before. <clears> listen, man. Too, as well. Yeah, but but you know when I when I play one god and I and I play the uh, the video and it's you know it's showing pictures of a, a lady in bed and it's talking about it's talking, calling her chicken surprise and you know it's like whoa, you know and and I understand what you're saying and you're speaking real into that into that uh, into the culture, you're speaking redemption into this whole world, you know, again, in regards to one God. Yeah, yes, yes, and yes. It's raw, it's yes. raw. It's definitely raw. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support and love, man. I got to get out there, man, and see all my, my old friend Doug, man. Oh, man. We're still man. making it. I ain't seen you in a minute. And I'm telling you. Well, I understand you're going to be doing a concert in Daytona, so we'll, we'll, we will definitely be all on that. Yeah, we. I'm trying. I'm trying to get something set up out there. And I'm saying, I'm. Um. Um. I was getting with Pastor Monzel. Yep. Um. Uh, that was like a, a little while ago. Right. We were supposed to be connecting to do some kind of outreach out there. Um. But um. It never. Well, we we just didn't get everything finalized right. we'll, we'll, as as of right now. We'll but we want to actually get more into the outreach. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead yeah. into the community. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because regardless of the, of of the skill that we may have musically. Uh, that's just the tool that we use to draw the souls or draw the people to us that we may be able to minister the truth to the people. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the church is getting to do right now. You know what I'm saying? They're they so busy trying, or they're so consumed with trying yeah. to pack people in the churches that they're not teaching them what they need to know when it comes down to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to go ahead and do. And not, not, not just teaching them, showing them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you just can't talk to people. You know what I'm saying? you got to actually mm -hmm. be the living testimony. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you're the only Jesus that people see. Amen. Right. And I know, I, you know, I've talked to the guys in Tomoka, and they, they still mention the fact that you, you give shout-outs to LS, you give shout-outs, you know, I know I know Ernest Bell's out there, and I, I, don't, I haven't talked to him in a minute, but I know that there's a lot of guys out there that knew you and want to follow, you know, what, what's going on in your life and watching how you live, live right, man, you know. Watch your, your wife and your Deja and, and, and just... I'm telling you how they, you know, just growing up, everything's just growing up around you, man. Yeah, man. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
No, no, I was just I was just saying um um uh I cannot say that 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 this lifestyle is not challenging so I would tell anybody, you know what I'm saying, that that is converted or or or, or looking to to come to Christ, you know what I'm saying, come eagerly, you know what I'm saying, but just know that everything is not roses. You know what I'm saying? It takes a real man to, to stand firm and walk this walk that we call Christ like. Yeah. Amen. But you know, you know, knowledge, I want to spit some knowledge right now, man. I've been serving the Lord for you. many years. I'm forty one years old now, but I'm gonna tell you something, man. It is harder to live in the world without Christ okay. than to live with Christ in on? the world, man. But I agree with you, man. A hundred percent. It is hard being a soldier for Christ, man, standing firm, going against the, the current. But mm. if you're listening, man, and you're not saved, man, I'm telling you, it is easier to live with Christ, man. The Bible says he gives you a peace that surpasses all oh, understanding, oh, man. Yeah. And I'm straight from the hood, man, Overtown, Liberty City. I've been there. I, I lived it, man, for 24 years in the hood, man. And God set me free. And I'll tell you, I have a peace now that surpasses all understanding, bro. The Bible says that neither death, life, angels, demons, presence, future, power, height, nor death. It says nothing in all creation can take you away from the love of God Whoa. who's in okay, Christ man. Jesus, man. Hallelujah. That's our God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, knowledge, we, we got an, another artist on the, on the line. Oscar, you there? Yeah, I'm here. God I'm bless here. you, brother. And uh, we, we, we're going to make things happen. Uh, knowledge, I'm going to play one of your tracks. Wh which, which one do you want me to play? Um, anyone. You, just, you can play one God. That's cool with me. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll play one God. God bless you, man. God bless. Hang tight. All right, knowledge, you stay blessed. God homie. bless you, brother. Keep the knowledge. Yes, sir. <laughs> yo, yo. Mm. One time. One time. One God. One way. Yo. All there is is one God who gives life. Uh, made heaven and earth. Uh, with words he spoke, it made man from the dirt. Made, made the earth rise through water. Separated the light, the sun. Brightens the day, the moon shines at night. With this pen, I write, scribing lyrics of truth and liberty. Uh -huh. Verbalizing the gospel lyrically. Trying to enlighten the eyes of the lost. But spiritually, they dead. So like a funeral, I'm hanging my head. They rather idolize the things of this world. How much paper they got. How many stones they can fling on the block forever. Watching for cops as the man roll up. But you a soldier, uh -huh. refusing. To let your plans blow up, cocking back, ready to ring out the shots of war. Lead flying, heads ducking, glass hitting the floor, chest out screaming, Who want more? But them boys about to give you way more than what you bargaining for. Shots ring out, and closely breezing by your melon, but you don't see that because you got the heart of a felon until one of them hot ones pierce your flesh. You realize it, and boy, you in a real hot mess, but it's too late now. You either lay them down or get laid, then switch the game now. And you the one that's about to get played. The truth hurts, yeah, sharp as a blade, life vain full of. Sin and that grave was the price you was paid. All I know is one God. Uh, 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 uh. Yo, all I know is one God. One God, all I know is one God. Yeah, all there is is one God. One God, man. Uh huh. So all I serve is one God. God. For y'all out here, man. Yo. Mommy had a slim face, small waist, thick in the thighs, a dime piece. Dudes calling her a chick is a prop, cause she willing and shorty ready to do whatever they speak. Instead of seeking God, she finds love in the streets, sweaty, between the sheets of a married man's bed with no commitment. Instead of finding rest, her body pivots, that this one and that one to be thugs and gangsters, attracted to them cats who want to do drugs and spank her, and claiming that is love cause he tossed a little dough, got you in the smoking drove, floss you as his little you know, when you know the truth though, but you close your vision, and follow the ones who Fail to do so and listen to a false description Claiming you thighs and hips, breasts, uh -huh. eyes and lips Got you blind as scripts of video directors Music manipulating words Got you showing off your courtesy to what your life deserves Life had many roads and it comes with many swerves Get your head out the cloud, leave the sky for the birds Five kids, four baby daddies, all got A's Many false idols, but there's only one God that says All I know is one God, one God. Uh. All there is is one God all the is one God, man. Uh huh. One. All I know is one God. Seek the truth from it. What I find. So all I serve is one God. One God. Yeah. 
Yo, yeah. it's getting real out here. The streets is getting more ill. Nowadays, if you worry, become your license to kill. What you want to do? Get it how you live. Throw them things up. A simple flip of the tongue will get your brains buzzed. Cats need to learn about life and what it really is. Christ, it's too many of our kids killing kids. Now it escalates to kids killing parents for lack of discipline. Who gon' be next to get knocked off? Got you reaching for your heat because he called you soft. Now you sitting in prison with them pants pop off. I'ma give it to you real because it ain't nothing nice. The system quick to give a 12 year old kid life in this because of a nation that promotes violence. But when it comes to the truth, seems a remote silence. Question if it's supposed to be in God, we trust. How is it that instead of all the arms, we bust with no discussion? I guess it's just like the saying there will never be peace. It seems like even religious catch beef. We need to peep the generation we raising and get them right. Or instead of Iraq, our own kids we fight. I want people to peep the trouble that I speak in this verse. And it's hard, this is my struggle, and it keeps getting worse. Used to embrace the street life, now I'm telling the kids don't get them listening now cause they the only won't and every day struggle under one God yeah yeah all there is is one God one God man all I know is one God all I know is one God the true uh, God man so all I serve is one God uh-huh. one God one love one way Yo, yo, what up? This your boy Mo, chilling here at Element 11 Productions with my man Knowledge, K&A Dodge Ledge. And you listening right now to The Shining Mixtape Volume 1, man. Holla, holla. WKTO, Pure Fire Street, 88.9 FM. We're here live in the studios. It's 11.34. We're going to hang out now with Oscar yeah. Arena. What's happening, sir? You on What's the air? Up? What's up? Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. God bless you, sir. What, what, now, I understand you come from Miami as well. We we got a whole bunch of Miami boys. Huh? M I A. Yeah, my, Miami, Florida, born and raised. Kendall, M- Bird Road, Royal Green. So let me guess, you go to Rey Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Negative. Negative uh, with a capital N. Oh, um, yeah. uh, actually go to <laughs> Negative. Um, I'm sorry, man. We used to Kendall. I actually go to a, I actually go to a church. Well, many people in Miami do because it's a huge church down here south. Right, right, right. But uh, I actually attend uh, a great church called Christ Fellowship. So seven campuses strong around the city. So yeah, really Amen. proud. Praise God. Amen. The only, the only, the only church I know in Kendall is uh, is a guy by the name of Pastor Percy Hurtado. Okay. Mm. And uh, I was just there. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Yeah, no, I don't recall. Amen. I mean, I've been, I've been bouncing Kendall. around a lot there. of churches lately because I've been moving. I've moved around lately within the last couple of years. So. So where you been? Mostly in the Kendall area? Well, no. I um, <clears throat> the last five uh, five years ago, I moved to Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Listen, I'm wearing a yeah, Philadelphia. So I'm, I'm, I I gotta say, I'm, <laughs> I'm wearing a Philadelphia Eagles hat right now. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Oscar, help me out there. Yeah, you heard what he just said? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I moved to Chicago for like four years, and then I moved to New York. So I just I had to find different churches. So I just came actually back down to Miami. Okay. Recently. Nice yeah, because uh, Doug was asking me, the, do you know me? And I'm like, man, I've been 40 years in Miami. If you don't know me, you probably doesn't live in Miami. So about Kendall, man. Okay, right. Kendall. All right. Praise yeah, God. yeah. That is far. Yeah, oh, from Kendall. where we were at. Yeah, right by Rey Jesus. Hey, man, the doors are open, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. It's Although just a heard, big church, I man. It's right in Yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> yeah. I heard about it. <laughs> capital N, I like that. I know, he's like capital N. Let's uh, go past that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. The only church is I'm really familiar funny. with the Pastor, Pastor Percy's, and then there's a church, Central Central Christian. Yeah, I actually have a lot of people who used to go to, to the church. Uh, a lot of people, but uh, not anymore. They go to some other churches now. Okay. How long you been doing the music, brother? So what about the Dolphins? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just. Kidding. Oh yeah, man! I've just been I've been doing the music. I've I've been rapping for a while since I was like 16, but I never really um, took. I never really got serious with it as far as making my own my own project. Well, there was at one point where I did, where I, I actually did a compilation uh, CD with a couple guys, some known Miami artists like Polly Pablo, um, <clears throat> but. I uh, I just never really got to getting my own CD, and at one point I I did. I was working on a CD, but then it got stolen, and it got like robbed. 
So it kind of discouraged me, and then I and then I moved to Chicago to go to school and go to college. But now that I'm back and you know I graduated, now I really wanted to take it seriously. And you know, just like as you see, a couple of weeks ago I dropped um, my first single from my upcoming CD finally. called Finally, Please. and um, and that's just what I'm looking at right now. So I've been writing for a while. I just just now got serious about it though. You sing about also, or years. you sing or, or just do rap? Oh yeah. <laughs> singing uh nah, yeah i mean i can i can i don't sing but i can sing to the point where i can get away with a hook here and there got it got put it, it like that that's exactly. the best way i put it but if you want me to do some brian mcknight on your track it's not gonna happen it ain't gonna happen <laughs> praise god and how old are you now how old are you now i'm 26 now 26. so i i turned 26 in may and that's why it's been kind of 10 years deep that's why the name of my cd Coming up uh, in January is called Finally, because the whole concept is, you know, after, you know, working on tracks and being robbed of it and things falling through, finally I'm going to have my city after all these years. So I didn't give up. That was the whole point, you know. So but where did you record here? In, in, you recorded in Kendall or what, what, what did you do the actual recording at that? Yeah, day? I recorded. Well, I recorded. Um, I have a couple studios where I record from. They're just completely light years apart from each other um okay i recorded i recorded like a couple tracks in new york when i was in new york but for the most part everything was done in um miramar which is out, right outside of Broad, right in right outside of dade county and and homestead which is on the other side oh wow so yeah. oh, yeah. that's really what i do i actually you know i have a good team behind me and my brothers um michelle and Serge. they've done some tracks with flame if you ever hear Flames' album, the first Surge, track Surge, um, yeah. called uh, "Break the Building," yeah. Um, yeah. my boy Surge. Surge, it does the hook. Yep, and I, I, and I, I think I saw Surge. Uh, Surge was outside a, 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 a thing that I went to in Orlando, and uh, it was like a youth pastors convention, and, and Surge was passing out stuff. If, I, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there you go. Like well, I kind of roll with the authentic crew here right. from right. Miami. Authentic. So, okay. yeah. All right. Praise God. So let me ask you yeah. uh, an, a question. How did it get stolen? I mean, yeah. you didn't have backups, uh, USBs, uh, they all got computers, or like the computer was taken? Or How you couldn't happen? call the studio and say, hey, shoot me the beat or shoot me the, the, the song? Yeah, well, this was like, this was like, that's a good question. That, this was like uh, about five years ago. Like, I was like 20, well, like more like, tw like 21 years old, something like that. And I was living in Chicago, but I would come down to Miami for breaks. So when I came down for a break for summer, uh, me and my boy we were like, "Hey, let's let's record a bunch of tracks." I've never had my own CD, and um, so he's like, "Yeah." So he found one of his close friends had a studio in the house. So we just went to his friend's house, and um, we had the hard drive which had all our stuff, and we were done, man. We just re we had pretty much recorded a whole CD. We like really grinded. And when I fly back to Chicago, um, I got word that the guy's house that we recorded in. No. He just sold all his equipment, oh. and he took the hard drive, and he hard sold the hard drive okay. that had all our music. Wow. So I, I a whole summer of there. a lot of work just went down the drain, and it really Woo. discouraged me, to be honest with you. It just yeah. took a, yeah. the life out of me for a while. So Wow, that was a big that, hit, man. I was imagining to... a CD. I don't know about right, you. because he said CD. That's why I got confused. I was like, man, right. CD? I'm, I would go to a computer. That makes But the hard sense, drives, man, you know what? There, there's two brothers we know, one brother named Threat, one brother named Ice. The same thing happened to them. Yep. Ice just happened to recently Threat. They 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 went into his house and took everything. Yeah. Every single thing that he's been doing music on for years. And Ice, they 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 stole his car, and his brand new equipment that he was doing a, a studio for back in Miami. So yeah. he, so we understand that man. That is that is painful. But but I thank God, man, that that you pressed on and, yes, and this yes. album is coming out and God is gonna be glorified, mm -hmm. brother. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> finally. Yeah yeah finally. Some patience. Yeah. Amen. So tell us a little so bit. It's kind about of like saying, finally, finally he's coming out. So, yeah, yeah. Man. so tell us a little bit about the track uh, called Cinderella. <clears throat> yeah, man, um, Cinderella. It's funny. Um, it wasn't even. Uh, I had already done writing my whole CD, and then I just came across this beat from my boy Impact. So he lives in Houston, and um, he. Uh, I was just like playing around with it. I was like, okay, maybe I'll do something with it. And it's funny. Originally, the concept I had was something with Grand Theft Auto which was, you know, there was a video game that had just come out that's a very popular video game that's, it's kind of a bad video game as far as, like, content-wise. And I, my, my first original concept was 
let me do something with that, maybe saying that this isn't, it's not just a video game, it's real life. Everything that happens. But then I thought, I was like, oh, maybe this, this wouldn't work. So I kind of scratched that idea. I thought maybe it would be borderline corny, borderline not working. So um, I just came up with that concept of Cinderella. And really the whole the whole heart behind the track is, because some people have interpreted different, differently from when they hear it, um, the whole concept is that we are all Cinderella. We're, we're Cinderella. And God, here comes God with this slipper. And and usually, and, and instead of taking it, and this goes for believers or non-believers. For a non-believer, you know, you're, you're a slave to your sin. You're doing all this dirty work, just like Cinderella was. And here comes God with this slipper of eternal life being offered to you. But unlike the movie where she takes it and goes to royalty, we go back to mopping floors, and we go we go back to our slavery. While and in the same sense, for a believer, you know, sometimes we do that even as believers, where we instead of God, you know, the, going to the security that God gives us, the joy that He gives us of, of putting our faith in Him, sometimes we will kind of slip away and you know follow that sin and go back to our vomit. Sometimes, mm-hmm. so the whole concept is a lot of times. Here's God. It's kind of like someone who's in the desert and he's dying of thirst, and someone comes up to them and offers them a glass of cold water, and you reject it. Mm. It's like that's what we do on a constant basis. That's what unbelievers do. That's what even believers do. Here comes this royalty being handed to us, and we just kind of reject it. So that was kind of my heart behind the track, because I saw sometimes in my life where you know uh, every sin is is rooted in a lack of faith. When we sin, it's because there was a lack of faith that we had. And and we decided to trust in other promises instead of God's, and that's something that we do. And you know that was where my heart was at because I saw myself doing that sometimes. So that's really where the track came out of, to be honest with you. Well, no, you dropped this track on uh, Rapazilla dot com, which is where I found it. And I'm telling you, it's in the the hot category, you know, and, and yeah. it's getting a lot of play and uh, it's getting reviewed well. So so. To tell me uh, what's what's the next steps for you? Where where can they pick up the full project finally? Well, the full project, to be honest, is going to be start being mastered by tomorrow. So um, the whole project's pretty much done. Um, so uh, it's going to be so mastered. You got world premiere. Uh, about a, uh, it's gonna, it's you gonna got be world premiere here. Gonna, what happened? So we got world premiere here. Yeah, yeah, so, mm-hmm. yeah. So so basically. Uh, we're gunning for you know early January. We're still trying to we're trying to figure out either the seventh or maybe the fourteenth. But um, but pretty much like it's all done and and then you know we'll post it. We're, we plan to post it on Rapzilla, Jam the Hype, Z180, all, oh, yeah. all this stuff. So um, it has got a lot of reviews, a, a lot of good ones too. I've gotten a lot of good play on on different sites as well. And um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to come up with the project. Um, I think it's really good. I've seen through the tracks. Um, <clears throat> And um, well, so I'm excited to see what people have to say. We're going to post it on, on every every type of uh, site we can. The artist that you were so just early. listening to, the uh, knowledge was that did one God. He, <clears throat> he also does radio in Orlando, and so he's going to be picking it up and uh, distributing yeah. it out and just letting you know about how to how to find it on Rapsilla, how to find finally when it comes up, comes up and comes due. And I'll, I'll tell you, we're, we're looking for, forward to some great things. We're going to be down in Orla- in, in Miami sometime later on the year. Love to be able to touch base with you about outreach. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, you, you, you have my contact, and right. I would love to. Absolutely. God bless. We're going to play some uh, some uh, Cinderella and uh, and uh, catch up with uh, Oscar in just a, just a bit. So this is uh, Cinderella. Pure Fire Radio. Why won't you trust me? I'll be down for you. Why won't you trust me? I'll be there for you. Diamonds and pearls for mud. But the funny thing is, the mud's the diamonds and pearls. Wait, what? I didn't mess up the metaphor. I'm not a lion, but I'm a lion ready to roar. 
Let me explain better. I, I, I hope you spread it like a chain letter. Yo, we send the redders wiping the floor, we feel the import. We can't take the pain no more, we just search to the core. But when we offer the eternal riches with purpose missions and the prince charming, we still ignore. We got no grounds to complain. Seems like we running in vain. Seems like the things that we like just ruin our life, but we don't wanna change. Why won't you trust me? I'll be down for it. White, we fight that poison. We ain't sleeping beauty, we dead. Like Jasmine, from royalty to Hasby, we begging for bread. We fought for the words of the beast. Does that ring a bell? But before the hook is unleashed, I got one more story to tell. We send the redders wiping the floor, we feel the import. We can't take the pain no more, we just search to the core. But when we offer the eternal riches with purpose missions and the prince charming, we still ignore. We got no grounds to complain. Seems like we running in vain. Seems like the things that we like just ruin our life, but we don't wanna change. Why won't you trust me? I'll be down for it. Why won't you trust me? I'll be there for it. Why won't you trust me? I'll be down for it. I'll be down for it. Cinderella, don't want that slipper. Cinderella, don't want that slipper. Cinderella, don't want that slipper. Cinderella, don't want that slipper, slipper, slipper. Why won't you trust me? I'll be down for it. Why won't you trust me? I'll be there for it. Why won't you trust me? I'll be down for it. I'll be down for it. Cinderella, don't want that slipper. Cinderella, don't want that slipper. Cinderella, don't want that slipper. Cinderella, don't want that slipper, slipper, slipper. It's Cinderella from uh, Oscar Bina. It's happening, sir. Yeah, there and, it is. And you know what? You can you can pick this up um, on Rapzilla. You go to rapzilla.com. You'll find it in the hot downloads. And uh, you wanna you wanna also be looking for the project that's coming out. It's called Finally. You can uh, hit up uh, Oscar on Twitter at the Oscar Urbina, and that's U R B I N A. And the uh, at the Oscar Arbina, and uh, you also have a website. Is that correct? Yeah, it's uh, www.theoscarabina.com. So basically, everything, everything, my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, any type of way you can reach me is the Oscar Arbina. Um, I was gonna do Oscar Arbina, but it was just uh, taken. So yeah. There's somebody else there out there that you well, <laughs> I'm sitting in the studio with Jabez, and and uh, tell me how many people have probably confused how to find you. Found me? Yeah, because I, I know it was used to be like I like I, I looked under under Jabez as J A B A E Z, and it's just J. Right. It's J-B-E-Z. Uh, J. It, it, there's a there's a guy at a church named Doug too, and uh, he says it this way every time. He's like J B E Z. So that's how you spell it. J B E Z. <laughs> Uh, you can you can just Google it. There's some videos that I have on YouTube as well as uh, my Twitter. I am Jabez. Amen, amen. So Oscar, let me uh, let me encourage you and can continue to go on with the music, and we look forward to having the finally project coming out. And uh, just keep keep in touch with us. Uh, we'd love to have you up here if you come up in the <coughs> in the Daytona Beach area. Hey, Oscar, man, do you have anything in Spanish, bro? I got to ask, bro. I actually do. Um, oh, um, that's very scarce material. Um, I have it on, on one of my friends. He's like a, well, he's, he's kind of like a professional spoken word artist. Okay. And uh, he, But he did a rap CD one time, so I had some, I have 
certain verses in Spanish, but not like full stuff in Spanish. Because okay, so. you know you oh, can't yeah. live in Kendall and not have a Spanish Pastor song. Pastor Sergio message. is pushing on this. You got to make it happen, bro. Yeah, we are going to have a full know, reggaeton station. I know, station. I know. I got, I got to step up my Spanish game up a little bit um, for my people, you know see, what I mean? So, yeah, <laughs> so I, I'll put that on my yeah. bucket list. All right, we'll God. do. My bucket, bucket list. list is before you <laughs> die, man. Twenty-six years old. He's like my bucket <laughs> list. Uh, you shouldn't even be thinking about your bucket yeah. list. <laughs> well, hallelujah. But honestly, I, I appreciate you, know, you guys having me. Uh, is, is a blessing. So yeah, I, 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 I totally appreciate it for Amen. sure. Well, keep in touch, and uh, I'll talk to you offline. I'm just gonna uh, go into to another track and and uh, talk to you offline. So. Uh, All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate man. your time. All right, brother. Stay blessed, God man. Bless. See you at Rey Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't even have a chance Dude, to respond to that. What was it. that? No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you gotta give you gotta give a shout out to your pastor. You there? I don't know. No, I yeah, he hung up. Praise Not God. Sure. He's there. Capital N. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, give me another song that we can play. Go ahead, brother. One of your tracks? Yeah. Well, look, go on to uh, my album again, The Pavement. Okay. Why don't you put on lights? Guys, if you're listening, uh, go on YouTube, put J-B-E-Z, space, and then put lights. It's the second video off of the album called The Pavement. And, uh, yeah, man, stay blessed by this. Beautiful testimony. I'll tell you about it after the song. Amen. We'll put it on the Purifier Facebook. See, in the midst of worship, the Lord spoke to me. He said, Jabez, the reason why you're broken is to let my light shine. Divine. I used to live in the dark until the sun rise. Now that's light, but that's light. When the light comes on, you got the roach, you're just scared of a fright. And when you in the dark, nobody sees you. The enemy won't even tempt you, cause it's too easy. It's like playing the cards, homie, until you fold. Or what you dealt with, cause I gambit, explodes. It's like dominoes, I'm screaming copy goo, meaning the game over. No more moves. I'm like a flash that when broken, let the light shine bright. So if I'm broken, it's just show his light shine. He made him sacrifice and die so we could gain his life. To die is a game, then I'm ready to ride. Call a suicide, but I'm ready to die. Back to my flesh so I can rest in peace, right? Cause I'm broken like a ghost, like then I'ma let his light shine. When I'm broken, I'm gonna let the light shine. Like a ghost, I'm gonna let the light shine. When the light's out, I'm gonna let the light shine. Let the, let the light shine, let the light shine. When I'm broken. Cause I counted all the loss And the Christ we bring that new meaning and bling it Frost, I'm no longer in the dark And with that fire with no lighter That spark that glows brighter I'm lost and going higher We illuminating, accumulating It's you for Satan, you'll be humiliated If you do the things in the moderation Don't take it out of context It's nonsense, you want this You're stuck in the dark with excuses Cause you want it and you're still drinking and cursing But preaching and smoking Carrying guns as if you're supposed to judge your folks When you the poser What's in the dark, the light gonna expose it Men love the dark No, nope, I won't be boggled, thrown in the lake for fire, lago, going right in and getting higher. Then the spirits are screaming like Mr. Go and suck the shock. I'm like touching the broken now, let's go to shock, I'm getting brighter. Ooh. When I'm broken, I'm gonna let the light shine. Like a glow stick, I'm gonna let the light shine. When the light's out, I'm gonna let the light shine. Let the, let the light shine, let the light shine. When I'm broken, I'm gonna let the light shine. Like a glow stick, I'm gonna let the light shine. When the light's out, I'm gonna let the light shine. Let the, let the we represent the light and not the darkness. You laying in the chalk lines, meaning you ain't walking. See, you still talking, but you dead to him. But I got the top 10 like David Letterman, so we gon' run the light. Powerful, bright and all. Somebody tell Paul, wow. I got the disco ball shining in all locations. There's not for no donations. Your eyes gon' melt you when you're in hell's fire. Dancing with Satan, your fate relates to eternal damnation. Dirty like sanitation. If they cleanse, then your time's up. Revealing I wouldn't inherit the kingdom. With that reason, my season bought me the freedom. No longer rain, he 
see them beating I broke it so I can let his life shine huh? yeah. And I walk in testimony Been tempted and beaten Peeking through the darkness Seeking a new meaning His light not revealing When the light shines The darkness is fleeing So check this vet Confess this perfect This won't regret this Cause this is beaming huh? When I'm broken I'm gonna let the light shine Like a glow stick I'm gonna let the light shine When the light's out I'm gonna let the light shine Let the, let the light shine Let the light shine When I'm broken I'm gonna let the light shine Like a glow stick I'm gonna let the light shine When the light's out I'm gonna let the light shine Let the, let the light shine And let the light shine WKTO Pure Fire Street 88.9 FM. It's 11:57. We're kind of hanging out in the Woo. studio. It's going a little bit long. That's what I'm talking it's about. We 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 fudging. Oh, Man, we, oh, oh. You know what I like about that song? We Care just about? had a a party of uh, Pastor Doug, and it was a uh, Clarissa's oh, yeah. birthday party. Sweet Man, 16. Sweet 16. That Sweet. was the birthday jam. We were rapping live, and anyways, people got glow sticks. Yeah, they did. Turn off all the lights, and they broke them. Right. You know, that reminds me, the testimony of how that song came, like uh, Pastor Sergio was saying before Miami, we would do the outreaches. One night, nobody showed up, praise God. The ministers still, they came, and they did their music as Amen. if it was packed, right? Amen. And when it got to my part to do the song, even though I was hosting it, the Lord told me, let's worship. So, okay, let's worship. Amen. So we broke into worship. I turned around. Nobody knew that I was going through something. For some reason, I guess, Amen. you know, you, just because you say Pastor Sergio, they put him on a pedestal forgetting that he goes through things and he needs prayer. Amen. So I was going through something. Anyways, the Lord showed me a vision. It was a glow stick. And the only way a glow stick is going to light up if you break it. Break it. And the Lord was mm. telling me the reason why you're broken, Jabez, is so that my light will shine. So that when I come out of that situation, when I go through that fire and I come out of it, his his glory is going to shine through me through the testimony of what's going on. So I revealed that to the people that were there, which were the ministers. Mm. And there was a young lady dealing with homosexuality on her bike. She heard mm. it and she stopped. There was a homeless man that was in the area as well um, who heard it as well. And he stopped. Once I got done um, showing them or revealing to them the vision that the Lord gave me, they mm. both not only the girl got off her bike, but the uh, young man who was a homeless man came up, asked for prayer, received Christ that day. Do I know the rest of the fruit? I can't tell you, but I know that the fruit was planted, the Amen. seed was planted, and that very day they Amen. did accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, repented from the Amen. sin, and it all became because all of us were still there Amen. glorifying God. Even though it was empty, God's glory definitely got revealed Amen. and the light now, did shine. I want you guys to keep up. When we say empty is because, guys, we were literally in a battle zone. Ghetto. It's between Overtown Liberty City. So when people from Kendall or, or or another part of town will find out that we had a party in the hood, just a lot of people didn't show up. We would have mostly like drug addicts, drug dealers, prostitutes, prostitutes, you right. know, really jamming out. But of course, when we did outreaches, mm -hmm. which we called it the upper room, by the way, right. awesome. and we did outreaches, man, a lot of people showed up. But in the hood, just very few people showed up. Right now, there was this one year that we had a hundred and something people Woo, show up. Come on. And it was just so powerful. But I guess after that, they must have got scared, man, because <laughs> literally, guys, literally, we will hear gunshots, people getting shot and killed. I mean, it, it's just, man, we were in the war zone, man. But you know what? We've been talking so much about Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. I'm having Pastor now look up one of my Spanish songs called El Que Es. Uh -huh. So... Eh, eh, si están oyendo ahora mismo en el radio, go ahead and translate for me. I'm just okay. kidding. He said, um, <laughs> <laughs> Javis doesn't know pray. Spanish. Praise I'll God. I'll be back. I'm going to go Pero fast. Si están oyendo en el radio y quieren oír un poquito de música, eh, reggaeton, algo en español, bueno, vamos a jugar este track. So, embúyete, óyelo, oye, hispano, adora lo que vive. Praise God. So, you know what, man? We're going to have a good time tonight and, um, we're going to glorify Jesus Christ. So if you're listening in right now, man, we're, we're about to play a, a, a Spanish track that's going to glorify Jesus Christ. Listen, I want you guys to make sure you are, are grabbing that phone if you can. The number is 386-427-8970. You are listening to WKTO, Pure Fire Radio. Listen, you need prayer? Give us a call. If you know that you are dealing with a physical infirmity, that there is something wrong in your body or you are being challenged, you can call in and we can pray for healing over your body in the name of Jesus. See, here's what you got to do. You got to take back that legal right, okay? There is an authority that was given to the enemy because of a 
door that has been opened. But I tell you, through prayer and by the name of Jesus Christ, you take back that authority. You give the legal authority to the Jesus Christ right then and there. I believe it in the name of Jesus that you can be healed. So, again, the number is 386-427-8970. And you are definitely listening to WKTO Purifier Radio, baby. Hallelujah. Come on. Oye, mi gente, prepárate ay, ay. que él vive. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. ¿Dónde está mi hispano? Prepárate. Hey, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Sergio. Yeah. God bless. Jabez. Yes, sir. God bless. Now, what's the name of that song again? It's called El Que Es. And that means? Who who was, is, and will always be. Amen. The only love Amen. of my life is Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 